Hi everyone and welcome back. Today I will be walking you through my HDR editing and color grading workflow from setting up the timeline correctly to grading and exporting in full HDR quality. But before we get started, just a quick note. To properly follow this process, you will need a HDR capable monitor and make sure your Windows system is set to HDR mode. I will be editing in Adobe Premiere Pro on a Windows system. All right, let's dive right in. So here I have four clips what I posted on my YouTube channel. First thing to do is to the sequence settings. Go to the color management, color setup, direct PQ, HDR, output color space, rec 2100 PQ, advanced, working color space, rec 2100 PQ. The graphics, white override, shows this from the middle. Next, to the Lumetri color, in the right side you will see settings. Go to the settings, preferences and check here to be to the source clip, use media color space, Rec 709. Sequence settings is direct PQ HDR, output color space Rec 2100, advanced Rec 2100 PQ, graphics white override 2003 and this is all. To the edit, apply a lot, which you want, it doesn't matter. Okay, I like to go to the exposure, not to blown out, but first, do not forget, to the Lumetri scopes, go here and choose HDR. And uh, here, do not go never over 1K. This is the maximum peak brightness for the HDR 10, 1000 nit. Then, um, I look on my screen to not blow out the, too much the highlights. I like to go to saturation more because it was evening. I go to temperature. I make a little bit warm everything. Shadows, black a little bit down. Highlights, not so much. Whites, yeah. And this is the first video. The next video, uh, I can just copy and paste um, because the, her face is direct in the sun, on the skin, on the nose, you see a little bit blown out. Go the, a little bit down with exposure. And I go to the HSL secondary, I pick up the color face because it's too saturated. I go to the noise a little bit, blur, and to the saturation back a little bit. Then I go back to the basic correction and I can play with colors more. A little bit legs down, shadows down, exposure up. Highlights down a little bit. Contrast I like to give more. Try to make the image bright, to look bright with contrast because this is the way how HDR must have the look. Um, yeah, I think this is done. Here is done. The next video, I just, I let's take from scratch. Go apply the lot, saturation, contrast, highlights a little bit down, make warmer tint to show beautiful golden hour shadows a little bit up, blacks a little bit down. Just take care always to not go over 1K there. Yeah, 
I'm happy with this result. It's not a big deal. This color grading and HDR is not a big deal. But you have to set up the timeline correctly. So, I just copy and paste here in the next one. Because all the settings will be pasted. And here I look what need a little bit. I think a little bit shadows more. And the highlights a little bit, a little, little bit down. Maybe. Blacks a little bit up. And a little bit. I like to keep contrast so much and yeah. Like that. Suck like that. So, this is all. Now I will export. I will show you how to export properly. Um, go to File, Export. Oops. File, Export. Send to Media encoder it's open media encoder here is very important how you export set up the quality go here and choose HAVC H265 not H264 and here you can go to you have to render at maximum depth Use maximum render quality, software encoding, main 10, high, export color space, rec 2100pq, it's very very important, this is the HDR, and here the same, in the, in the middle, 2003, uh, look a little bit down, chose the bitrate 75 because this is 4k the quality higher or you can post even the highest and this is all and mark here include hdr 10 metadata and here you don't have to do nothing you have to mark this include hdr metadata is very very important so okay then we give export and this is all so this is all if you have some questions i will be happy to answer and uh, yeah see you in the next video bye